we are talking about thinking skills right from the days of the vedas and even before that in the middle east and in greece as well in rome as well in egypt people gave a lot of importance on thinking skills not thinking what is outside me but what is inside me especially asian civilizations gave more importance to looking inside rather than looking outside and that is the important thing the objective is to know yourself once you know yourself once you know why i am in this world once you know your goals no one can stop you from becoming successful your thoughts decide what you become there is a saying in english a person is known by the company he keeps your your friends i can see your friends and judge what kind of mindset you have in the same way your thoughts decide what you become right my my mother in law says a very beautiful thing she says that god is always in the tathastu mode so you say good about yourself and you already automatically get the tathastu that means may that come to you may you be that that's the meaning of tathastu right so say good things about yourself say i am going to do great i am going to do good i am going to work on that and i am going to be immensely successful in life the tathastu is always operational right so what do you think you become your thoughts don't create your way it creates you the one that is the you of the future the next one you don't understand the importance of thoughts thoughts are supremely powerful very very powerful you decide that today i am going to learn at least five things from here and you become that next talent is not enough please remember talent is not enough that is why i give so much of emphasis on thinking what you can become in 10 years from now or 5 years from now or whatever shape it is so talent is not enough you need to do a lot of hard work you need to shed a lot of sweat and even when you are resting you need to be active the upanishad say that he is the perfect man who is alone in a crowd jo bheel mein akela hai and when he is alone he is with many different people that means his different avatars so a man is the best when he is busy alone and at peace in the crowd right so that is why when you are even when you are resting you should be very much active at least at least with the help of your brain at least with your brain and the concept of interstices is exactly that the famous writer umberto eco says that you can use the empty spaces on of your life like the morning rituals in the toilet when you are doing nothing you can think about something different you can think about a planning an idea right i carry my diary even when i go to shave because some idea comes to me i write it down i keep my diary beside me when i'm sleeping at night i wake up to drink water and an idea comes to me i write it down and this is the result of those ideas so interstices works wonders because you are utilizing the empty spaces of your life but remember one major thing major thing which is that for that your job should be that which you love otherwise interstices will become very very boring wo kaam karo which you love that is the most important thing otherwise interstices kya you will not even try to think about your job in the at the place of the job also so you need to search for yourself a job that you love from inside the next one the joy is challenging yourself every single day i always keep on saying this there are 100 billion 10000 crore neurons working in your brain for you lakshmi for you mishra so the idea is that you know that there is a huge army huge army one seventh of the world population if we convert it into humans working for you so you don't know the capacity of your brain 
even today the scientists have failed to determine what is the actual power of our brain, what is the actual capacity of our brain. So you can't even imagine what you can do with your brain. That is why it is important to keep your brain shining like a jung lab child. That is why it is important to challenge yourself every single day with new things. The best search is the search that looks inside. That is why all the holy books talk us about looking inside. Otherwise, how could somebody like a Sant Kabir, when there was a division between his disciples, who will take the body? There was a, I don't know the truth of this story. My mother used to tell me when I was a kid, there was a, you know, fight that half of the people said, we will take Kabir's body and half of the people said, we will take his body. And when the body was opened, they found there were flowers. So they took half of the flowers and the other group took half of the flowers. What he meant to say was that it's unimportant with whom I am physically. It's important that I am with everybody. What? Mentally. Otherwise, how could a son Kabir say when he was having his feet towards a prayer hall and when the the person, the religious leader came and said, your legs are towards God. And he touched him and said, tell me where is God? And he found God everywhere. So how could that idea come to him if he is not a searcher of the soul? Right? The next one. That's a binocular life. What is written over here? The answer lie within. The answers lie within. It is that one, that is why it's very important that at least for two minutes before you go off to sleep, you talk to yourself. One is say to the stars and two, talk to yourself. Right? Pat yourself on the back for something good you have done. And don't blame yourself for any mistake that you have done because it's okay to make mistakes, I always say. That makes you human. Otherwise, you become God. But every single answer in this world is found inside you. The next one. The salami technique. I have told you this. A big problem has to be broken up into small problems. Now Sanjana thinks that I will do the toughest first. Sabse kathin wala pehle karunga. Aur fir apne aap ko bolungi that I have done the toughest one. Well done. Now it's easy. Lakshmi might think otherwise. She might think that I'll do the easy one and tell myself I've taken one step forward. Right? Now the next step will be easier. Because the important thing is that you have seen those rollers in the cricket pitch. The important thing is to start the roller, not to pull the roller when it is already working. The next one, please. So break a problem into small parts. With loads of positivity, feeding the mind with loads of positivity. Yes, I am going to do something good. Yes, I am going to be great. Yes, I am going to be a happening person. Yes, something good is going to happen to me. The more you think about that positive, the more positive you become. And that is a surety. Mark my words. I have seen this in my life. Tell yourself every single day, I am going to be awesome and you are going to be awesome. Tell yourself every single day, I am going to be awful and you are going to be awful. You cannot deny the fact. Jitna bhi tum planning kar lo, mehnat kar lo, agar tum din raat apne aap ko mehnat karte karte bol raho, kuch nahi honne wala mera to kuch nahi hoga, nobody can help. Aap safal honge lekin dukhi honge, ya to asafal honge aur sukhi honge ye. Matlab it's a confusing situation. But tell yourself, I am going to be awesome. The next one. Setting priorities. Most important, important can wait. This is a very important three gullas in your life. Many kya the Salami technique, breaking a problem into small parts. At the same time, this one is setting priorities. For example, Mariam has an assignment to do. She will decide, this is the most important thing that I need to do right now. This little bit important can wait. And this can wait for a longer time. Setting priorities. The next one. And do what you love to do. That is why you still have time. Choose a career that you love to do. Otherwise, life will become a hell. For example, Kaushal wants to become a civil servant. And suddenly, he becomes a, a dancer. 
So it will be hell for him. He will forget the steps of dance and life will be terribly difficult for him. The next one. Thinking out of the box. Go beyond the thinking process. Okay? Apne options wait karo. These are my options. These are the normal options that a normal person will think. Or us option ke bahar ja. Or fir uska positive socho, negative socho. Have you played chess? When you play chess, you push that thing forward and you decide before pushing that these are the problems that I'm going to face. These are the attack points that are going to come. So you need to find out that, right? But think out of the box, which the normal person will not think. The next one, please. Creates all the difference. What creates all the difference? Time. And that is why it's very important to manage your time. Don't procrastinate. Aaj nahi kal karunga. Kal nahi parsu karunga. Do it now and relax. That's cool. That's why I reach an airport or a railway station or a bus stop two hours prior to the, you know, departure, scheduled departure. I am very happy looking at the people at the platform. But I am not bole. I am not one of those people who half of the train is outside the platform and I go running and jump into the train. No, I am not that. Thank you very much. I will do that. Last part. Last part. Next one. I will come to this. Do not set limits on yourself because you are limitless. Your brain is limitless. You are limitless. The last one. Try. The process is simple. Try. Try harder and even harder. And finally. Thank you, Manusha.